Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wake Classic at Wake Studio One. Today I am going to show you this sumptuous red shade and brand new style by Belle Tress. You won't want to miss coming up. I purchased this style with my own funds. You can find it at Wake Studio One. Go below the video, expand the description box, Check out the link that I've left for you there. It's directly to this style. You can look at all of the colors and pricing. And at Wig Studio One, Beltrust styles are always an automatic 30% off retail. See you soon. So this gorgeous new style by Beltrust is called Allegro. And it's in a fresh new red color called Sumptuous strawberry. Um, lots going on in their colors. Beltress has a very dynamic color palette. Um, not just one or two colors, sometimes three, four, five different colors that are mixed in to create a very brilliant look. And that's the case here on this. This is a really fresh looking red shade. It's very soft. So breaking it down, you're starting with like a medium red, just, just a kind of a brown red. And then adding in there the layers of copper. So I'm seeing some medium copper, some lighter copper shades. And then we're going to add in some blonde. We're going to add in a little bit of honey blonde, like a warm honey blonde. And then we're also going to be seeing um, some strawberry blonde throughout. So this is the perfect blending of reds. And it is a little bit of a warmer red, a more yellow based red. There's also a medium brown root on this. However, I think this rooting is super soft. I'm gonna compare it. I'm gonna use the comparison of the Cayenne with Ginger Root by Beltress. That has a very dark uh, 1B root. So it is extremely dark compared to this one. And um, I don't have a color number or code on this, this root but the transition is super soft. It looks very natural and complementary of the color. In fact, you really have to kind of look at it to make sure it's rooted because it just appears to be very soft and shadow of a root. It's not harsh at all. But this red is just so dynamic, so romantic. Perfectly done red. That's why I say it's such a fresh red. It's an innocent red. <laughs> we can get to be the devil, you know, with these reds sometimes. I love them. Some of those flaming reds um, that just really jump out at you. And this one I think is very complimentary of this style because it is so soft. So we're looking at about 13 to 15 inch layers here at the front. So that's going to stretch well below your chin. It's probably going to strike you at or below the collarbone those first layers. And then overall, you'll see that it's about 18 inches. Otherwise, there's very minimal layering on the style. Some of the visual things that are going on here are due to the curl pattern, which is also so beautiful and voluptuous. You kind of have that swoopy bang, and that's made possible by this uh, lace front left monofilament side part. So you've seen those by Beltrust before. This one is particularly well done, I think. Uh, the, the knots are very fine. The lace material is transparent. The grid is also fine. And that moves back into a left monofilament side part that nearly reaches the crown. You can see they brought some of the blonde highlight right up to the lace front, which gives a nice soft look as well. So these lace features really get high marks from me on this particular piece. Now remember, when I'm doing a review, I can only give you information based on the piece that I have. So if you get a piece and it does appear to be a little bit different than the one that I'm presenting, that doesn't mean I've done anything to the wig. It just means that you might have been experiencing a variance, which we so often can do. Now, if I had a large, broad sampling, I might be able to tell you better what uh, some of the variances might be. Um, for now, I know that there are some variances with Beltress on a couple of things, in particular, their lace fronts. Some lace fronts appear to be thick and knotty and other ones are a little more fine in structure like this one. 
And I know that they're really, really trying to improve these lace features, and I think they're doing a great job. They've come a long way, but that's not to say that yours would be different. The other thing is there's just a small amount of contour right here at the front, okay? I did not do anything to it. I didn't use the heat from my hands because it's kind of staying out of the face on its own. I really didn't need to do anything. Um, so this is it, guys. This is what it looks like right out, of, right out of the box. I just gave it a quick shake gently on a longer wig, and it just kind of fell into place for me. Um, now, this one weighs about six ounces, so that's where the term, kind of the term voluptuous comes from, just because you're going to see this soft, voluptuous body all throughout this wig style. There's a lot of waves and flips. You're going to see this luscious, full body look and movement, especially towards the ends. So this is a lot different than you're going to find on a lot of the uh, bell truss styles that feature that beachy textured wave where it's been taken down on the ends. It's kind of a bohemian look where this one is a little more romantic and soft and full at the bottom. So I love to see this variety from bell truss. Now this is still a part of the cafe collection though. And all of those wig styles are heat friendly. So you've got kind of these big, soft, barrelly, kind of deconstructed barrelly curls here. It's a nice, lush density, again, very consistent with this style. And there's very little permatease, which is also sort of consistent with Beltress. Now, what you'll find, though, is that there is a little bit of permatease at the back. It isn't thick, heavy, and pillowy. It's just a little more than what you're going to find up top and around. I love that Beltress finds a way to create volume and hold style without a ton of permatease. Here's an inside look at the Cap Ford Bell Tresses Allegro. There is that full temple to temple lace front, left monofilament side part assembly. It does not extend back into the ear tab. It's nice fine grid and knotting there. It has a closed felted ear tab and the stays on that are fairly weak, um, but I feel like you still have amazing coverage. They took great care to splice in a lot of fiber there at the ear tab. And then you have an extended felted nape with bra strap type adjusters. You notice I had to take those adjusters in quite a bit to accommodate a petite average circumference. So as I mentioned, the style is right out of the box. I haven't used any product in it. I didn't style it at all. I shook it out divided the hair around the parting space, and that was pretty much it. Um, it is a full voluptuous style. I think that if you use barrettes or combs, they're gonna have to be able to support a larger diameter ponytail or updo. Let's try with glasses. Beautiful. These glasses fit amazing between the ear and the ear tab of this style. They usually do on Beltrust styles because there's not a lot of permatease or thickness and volume right at the ear tab.
thanks so much for joining me today for a look at the Belle Tress's Allegro and the beautiful Sumptuous Strawberry. Be sure to check this out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.